Tao. It's RJ with Tai Chi Video. So today we're going to be doing Tai Chi in a chair outside. It's actually a little bit cooler out here uh, than I expected. Um, as warm as it looks, it's a little bit cold. So why do Tai Chi in a chair? Well, there are several reasons, but let's first look at Tai Chi. Tai Chi is a whole body exercise. When we're first learning how to do certain movements, we may actually just work on our hand movements separately uh, from the rest of the body. And then when we understand those, we may just work on the leg movements. And then at some point, put it all together. So it makes sense to be able to do Tai Chi in a chair and just work on the, the upper body and the lower body to some degree. So a good reason to practice Tai Chi in a chair might be simply you've just had surgery on your knees or on your hips. Or some people, as you know, Tai Chi requires you to stand for a long time and to move. Some people are just not ready to do that. They may be older, they may not have their balance. <clears throat> and there are, there are many other reasons that um, standing for a long period of time is uh, you know, a little, little bit difficult. So let's look at some movements we can do just in the chair. The first thing I want to show you is we're going to do a movement of just standing and sitting. But for us, what I recommend is, see, I don't know what kind of a chair you have at home. You could have a chair that you sink right into it. Um, it's really preferable if you have a straight back chair. <clears throat> it'll, be, um, it'll be better to do these movements. If you don't, if you just have a comfy chair, then we'll work with that. So here's an idea. Just take a, a blanket, put a blanket on the chair, and that's going to raise you up. And by doing that, it's gonna take pressure off the knees. So when you sit, <clears throat> you don't have as far down to go. So the movement, I'll explain. The movement that I wanna show you is basically <clears throat> taking a comfortable stance, just standing, and then sitting down. And as you'll notice, if you have a blanket, that's going to release that pressure on the knees, allowing you to stand up a little bit easier because your body's already raised to a certain degree. So you can put as many blankets as you want to keep bringing your body forward. So this will exercise the, uh, the knees, it'll exercise your, your thigh muscles. So just do this, um, you know, a couple of times throughout the day, you don't have to overdo it, just going up and down. <clears throat> so that's our first movement. Um, what I want to point out too is drink water throughout the day, unless your doctor tells you otherwise. But you don't have to try to drink, let's say, six glasses a day or whatever. Just drink water when you're thirsty, basically. And that's a good start to keep the body hydrated. <clears throat> All right, so let's get into some chair Tai Chi. So what I would recommend is standing, or I should say sitting, with the feet more outward. So I'll give you this angle here. So instead of having the feet close to the chair, bring the feet out. Bring the feet out a little bit so you can see how the angle's a little bit out more. And this allows to give you that stability that we're going to need. So you can see how my, my legs, instead of being straight, they're angled out. And then also, <laughs> to give you this angle here, I also have my toes on an angle. Instead of being straight forward, even my toes are angled out. So this is giving me a really good um, base, you should, I, I could say. A nice base, a good strong posture. The other thing I'd like to mention is try to keep a good posture as best you can, keeping the body upright, nice and strong. All right, so our first movement, first Tai Chi movement, is while maintaining this good posture, we'll start with the hands relaxed in front of us, between the legs, and we'll just raise at the shoulders, right? We're just pivoting at the shoulders until we reach about shoulder level 
and then we'll relax the arms in front. So what you want is, you don't want the arms to be stiff, like Frankenstein. <laughs> you want um, a nice roundness in the elbow. All right, so keep the uh, nice bend in the elbow and just pivot here at the uh, shoulder joint. Just raising the arms in front of the body and then the arms relax in front of the body. All right, so we're just raising the arms, keeping the back nice and straight. Okay, we can add one little detail here. So as I raise the arms, I want my wrist to be nice and loose. So my fingers point to the floor. When I get to the top, I'm going to rotate my palms so the fingers point to the ceiling as I go down. So here, I relax my wrist. Fingers point to the floor. And then the fingers point to the ceiling as I go down. Now we can add one more detail. As I raise my arms, I'm going to breathe in. And then I breathe out as my arms relax in front. So I can breathe in. And then breathe out. Again, keeping the arms nice and relaxed. Keeping the back nice and straight. Breathing in as you come up. And then breathing out as you go down. So this is from a posture called Open Tai Chi. We raise the arms and then we relax. So that's our first movement.